Hey everybody, welcome back. Sean Schultz, Production Manager for ASU Damage. Uh, we had a great and amazing response to last week's video. So we are gonna go ahead and answer some questions that we got in the comment section and uh, visit some new spots, kind of give a, a little closer look at some things. Um, like I said last week, if there is something that you wanna see or you have questions about, please feel free to ask and we will go ahead and um, go and visit those places. All right, first we're gonna take a look. Anna K wants to see a little bit more about the fly system and the hydraulic system, uh, whether it's for rigging of scenery or actors or both. And we'll go ahead and look at that right now. Okay, we are gonna take a dizzying ride up the spiral staircase from the fly floor. We're gonna go up to the grid and check out everything up there. We're gonna pass, here's the mid rail loading gallery. So we load weights from the mid, and then there is a lower upper and an upper upper gallery as well. Uh, we use the fly system 99% for backdrop set pieces, things like that. We never really hang anyone from the fly system as far as an actor. Um, those systems we usually will hang from the grid themselves. It's a separate system. Uh, because those loads are so dynamic and they're kind of moving around all the time. It just doesn't doesn't work well on a uh, motorized fly system or a uh, manual fly system for that matter. All right, we made it. We're to the grid. Uh, this is where all of the winches and head blocks and loft blocks and shivs and everything are for our fly systems. Walk past those little pool noodles that are taped here. Actually, Pool noodles are a theater's best friend. Uh, we tape them everywhere basically to protect our heads because uh, we hit our heads on all this stuff on a daily basis. There's only about eight feet uh, from the grid to the actual ceiling of the building, so there's not a ton of room here. A little note for the riggers to make sure they don't hang anything from the winch, winch drums here. These are the winch drums. Uh, they run the entire length of the stage. Uh, over to the pump house. So each hydraulic pipe has a winch drum. There are seven lift lines for each pipe. So that would be seven drums all connected together uh, by one drive shaft that goes all the way across over to uh, to the pump house here. Oh, lighting is kind of, there's the pump house right there, that black box. None of this stuff was, uh, was here when the, the building was originally built. The original fly system is actually under the grid, the yellow beams that we're walking on right now. Uh, so you kind of can't get a real good look at those there. But let's take a look over here towards the pump house. Um, that pump house is basically a giant hydraulic oil tank with some high speed motors, high pressure motors to compress that hydraulic fluid and then it's sent through valves that control the, uh, the motors of the hydraulic system. Uh, some lifting equipment, some rigging stuff that we use on a regular basis uh, that we kind of just store up here because we use it all the time. Everything's secured off so that nothing falls uh, or can hit the ground. And that's, a, that's a big thing for us. There's another look here, just some more winches and things that we can use to move stuff around. A uh, shot of our hydro or our electric winch that we use to bring real heavy stuff and a spiral staircase going down stage left. We're in the pump house. These are the valves and control valves for for the hydraulic fly system. Uh, the, all those hoses are going down below there into a giant tank, basically a reservoir for uh, where we can uh, house all the the uh, hydraulic oil. Uh, pretty sophisticated stuff. Um, thank you to Works Global for renovating and, uh, and, and honestly maintaining this thing because uh, as much as I've tried to wrap my head around it and I understand it pretty well, it's, pretty, uh, it's a pretty amazing little system. So these are the motors that control pressure and build pressure for the hydraulic system, three of them. Um, Oh, never mind, four of them. I forgot about that last little short guy. Uh, all the control services, all brand new wiring as part of that renovation that we just did. 
and uh, color coded great job a oh, little uh, shameless plug for works global right there and all contained in a soundproof box up on the grid so no one hears it during shows okay and Aaron E wants to see uh, above the presenting oh okay he wants to go up in the ceiling above the audience so, uh, as you know, the ceilings in Gamage are pretty tall if you see, sat in those seats, but I don't think you know how much room is actually above those ceilings. So there is quite a bit. Um, there are three levels of seating and uh, three levels uh, up in the ceiling. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Warning, it's a little bit dark up here um, and uh, a little bit dirty. So we're gonna kind of go through this quick and I don't know how much we're gonna see, but let's go take a look. Okay, well, I saved you the uh, 80 foot climb up the ladder to get up here. Uh, one place we don't have a spiral staircase. So right now we are directly above the downstage edge of the stage. Probably, I guess, right above rows A, B, and C um, or the orchestra pit. Uh, if, if you've seen that so uh, the area there to the left is where the sound systems hang uh, and motor controls for the house sound system are all kind of tucked in there so you can see just a lot of insulation uh, a lot of these catwalks were actually added after the fact as well a lot of this stuff didn't exist when the original building was built either so this stuff was all added uh, for for ease of show uh, Right now we work our way up here uh, We are about halfway through the house and Here we're gonna go up and we will be about grand tier level um, uh, About the top of the grand tier uh, almost lower part of the upper balcony I guess if you can get your bag there those areas there are the cages for the delay speakers that are installed in this in the uh, in the ceilings and then we can make our way up here and we will be in the upper part of the upper balcony so if you've ever been to the top of the balcony we are just above the ceiling of the top balcony if that makes sense I suppose it makes sense <laughs> All right, just a lot of air conditioning equipment, beams and things that we've used to rig to. Um, just a lot of bones and guts, I guess you would say, up here. Man, it's dark. Sorry, it's so dark. No one ever really comes up here. Okay, and Jennifer W. Uh, wanted to know a little bit more about load-in and strikes, and she also wanted to know about track systems in, uh, in the stages. Uh, I am going to do that video tomorrow because I have to shoot and actually find some old footage maybe of those track systems. So uh, Jennifer, I didn't forget about you. I saw your comment. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and deal with that one. Also want to give a shout out to Joanne H. She did uh, one of our VIP donor tours with me and she says that uh, I'm her favorite. So I'm gonna give her a little shout out for that because you earned it. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us again. Um, like I said, if you have questions, comments, other things that you wanna see, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and we will go through those. Uh, best wishes to you. And, uh, and your family from our family. We hope you're well, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.